morning, everybody. I'm here with a quick little update to let you know that the nerf and a few balances have arrived. Of course, the main nerf that everyone knew about was Tellurium. However, Vela also got a pretty substantial nerf. In fact, I think that Vela is less of a workable hero now than Teleria. Teleria still has, she's still, you're still going to see her a lot, maybe not as often, but you're still going to see her a lot. And I think Vela might uh, start to tail off a little bit. But then again, people who have that combo, just because of their synergy, they're going to end up staying together. And by way of apology for the nerfs, uh, Small Giant has gifted everyone 20 emblems of every variety, as well as a reset button. So, I guess uh, enjoy them while you can. I'll go ahead and collect mine now, because I hadn't before. But uh, why don't we go ahead and look at the balances that they're going to give. So, as we all knew, Teleria was going to come down a little bit. And according to them, they are still, like, they're active right now. So next time you face the Teleria, she's going to have this nerf. Next time you fight face Vale, she's going to have this nerf. So sorry for all of you guys who have them. I have Vela, and it really sucks. Um, but they have also reserved the right to change, make further changes as time goes on. Um, so we will see uh, see where that goes. Um, so anyway into the actual changes. So Teluria, her mana generation uh, debuff for enemies is gonna go from negative 34 for three turns to negative 24 for two per turns. That actually makes a huge difference um, because once she went off once, because of the mana down she gave everyone else, she was able to just keep rolling. And so you'd be facing like every opponent would have three of her minions and you wouldn't even be able to get off your special to kill the minions, let alone her. Um, so changing that by 10% and knocking it down to two turns is going to help a lot. Um, the inherited minions are reduced from 18 to 13% the hit points. So she still has a shield, but, you know, 5% when you're talking about the 20 emblemed Teluria's who are up around, you know, 2,000 hit points. That is, you know, that, uh, uh, that that's just 10% would be a 200 uh, point hit shield. And so uh, lowering that five, that's almost 500 hit points of the shield that uh, the higher Tolerius are losing. And the mana generation, the uh, per turn, it's going up to about 150, a little over 150 per turn. This one for two turns and not three. So again, still a very workable hero. Still a pretty freaking great tank at average speed. Um, just not impossible to the point where the big alliances that have to face 30 Teleria uh, are just going to lose interest and quit the game because who wants to face the original version? All right, so now Vela. So the extra damage that she does to fire is going to be reduced. I've seen other things that have shown her extra damage to fire was it far exceeded the extra damage that any other uh, hero was doing to a certain element. She was something like plus 74 to the damage she did against fire. And I think they brought her down to like in the 30s. So they took like 50% of her extra damage down, um, which is going to hurt her a lot. And then um, to, and this is also going to impact uh, Teleria. Um, this is a way to, a way of nerfing Teleria without nerfing Teleria, because you see all these Teleria Vela teams, is that the um, negative attack for fire that Vela has is going to drop 20 points from 54 to 34. So that means that people are gaining 20% more attack against Teleria when they go with a red stack team. So again, it's going to be easier to take her out. Um, and I'm pretty sure that's why they did it. It was a way of 
they, they were, I think they were afraid that people were going to say, you broke Teleria, you made her impossible to play. And so instead of taking, making her slow or extra slow and keeping her the same or getting rid of her mana, gener mana generation uh, reduction to all enemies completely, they were like, okay, well, let's just nerf Vela and people can hit her harder. And so she'll be, her, her shields are going down, people are going to be able to get mana faster, and uh, the red stacks aren't going to be hurt as badly. So they'll be able to take out Tori much more easily. I think that's what they were thinking. So Margaret, who everyone thought was broken completely to begin with, she now deals 150 damage to the target and by enemies. Um, and that's pretty big because she hits freaking hard. I think her base is 800 something. So, so yeah, she's going to actually be with that dodge, you know, she can, she's extra fast. So that's a huge hit from extra fast. And, um, with that dodge, I mean, Margaret is actually not a terrible hero anymore. I don't think, um, I think just because she came out so long ago, you're not going to see a ton of her popping up, but she's going to pop up more because, you know, that that extra fast you, you and that kind of hit, you, you just, you know, put Margaret next to Teloria and Teloria gives a 10% crit and Margaret's going off in, what is extra fast, like seven tiles, eight tiles? And so... So yeah, like Margaret all of a sudden is just an assassin with some crit. So I think you're actually going to start seeing Margaret on some teams. Um, Guardian Kong, because he goes and hits everybody, they're bumping about 30% damage. That's not a small amount. And he's also dispel dispelling ailments, so he's a cleanser now. That's a pretty huge upgrade. Um, Guardian Owl, who not a ton of people used, um, his direct damage is being increased by almost 50%, but then his increase per dead ally is going down by 10. Seems like a fairly even trade-off. Um, I don't know a ton of people who use Guardian Owl because he's extra slow, but um, I, I think that that's going to be... Yeah, it'll, it'll be a trade-off. We'll, we'll see. Uh, again, you don't see him that often, so... I don't suspect you're going to suddenly see a ton of Guardian Owls pop up. Guardian Chameleon, I literally have never faced a Guardian Chameleon. So changing the duration from 3 to 4, I can't tell you if that's amazing or crap or what. It's, eh, it is what it is. Um, Queen of Hearts, increased damage by 10%. I don't think that really matters. Uh, increased uh, HP goes up by 3%. It's a slightly bigger extra shield. She does have lots of hit points. So I suppose she'll last longer, but this isn't a huge buff to me. Now this is one of the biggest buffs. Atmos. They're, they're, they're cruddy green five stars are the ones that they've decided to go and buff the most. So his, you know, his direct damage goes from 150 to 170. Um, and the direct damage is based on enemy's mana from 270 to 290. Um, you know, whatever. The big change here is that Atmos is no longer a slow hero. He is an average hero, which means with uh, mana troops put up high enough, he's effectively a fast hero. That's a game changer for a hero that hits everybody and can hit everybody hard. So you're going to see a lot more Atlases pop up, I do believe. Um, you know, Makar, uh, direct damage to all enemies increased from 250 to 270, okay. Um, direct damage to all allies decreased from 80 to 50. Um, I'll be honest. I don't have Makar, I don't face Makar, I don't even know what that second thing means. I didn't realize to see it hurt his own team when he attacks. I don't have him, don't know, don't care. Gobbler. Uh, so his attack was significantly nerfed. His defense was significantly boost, boosted. 
hit point came down. Um, so the amount of hit point. So he's, you know, I think that they're planning for more minion. I think we're going to see more minion dudes coming out soon because the the benefits for killing minions for different heroes is increasing. Um, I think that Gobbler's still just a Gobbler is what Gobbler is. Um, I don't think anyone's dying to have Gobbler, but the emphasis put on characters that impact minions makes me think that the minion beta is going to be important going forward. Um, Sir Lancelot, he, you know, his defense is still terrible. He's going to die in one hit. Um, but his direct damage increased from 250 to 65, so yeah, if you get him off. Sumitomo, which is one of the few four stars I got from Season 2, increased by 20% with his damage. Uh, direct damage from Dan Saburo, slightly increased. Hu Tao, you know, his, uh, the blind went up 5%, which is probably the biggest thing for him. Um, and then there were some buff issues that were rounded, that the numbers were changed to to impact their gameplay, and I, I honestly don't know if the answer is all that. But, yeah, there's going to be some big changes. Again, I think that um, Atmos and Margaret are the two biggest beneficiaries here, and Guardian Kong. And then Teluria and Vela is... Vale is impacted, I believe, solely as a way to hurt Teleria without making her unplayable. So that's what we got here. Um, I'm, I'm curious to see how that's going to change uh, the leaderboards. So you can see if it's already been here. Yep. The, it's already been dropped down to 13%, 24% mana generation for two turns. Yep. So everything is there. And, of course, Vela. Everyone has Vela. 34. Yeah. So as the owner of JF, I wish that they had given him a buff. <laughs> but we can't have everything. But, yeah, I... This is still going to be a killer combo. It's just not going to be the killer combo that it has been. People are still going to be able to take her out. Or people are going to start going to be able to take her out more. And, you know, I've been telling you guys that uh, I've been messing with the idea of leveling up this guy here. And with Toria having less of an effect on mana generation, him being average, and the fact that he gives... Uh, allies uh, a small amount of mana for each destroyed minion. Grimble may... He may have a spot on teams. He may have a spot on my team, because I am not getting Clarissa, it looks like. <laughs> so, you know, congratulations to those of you who have Margaret. Um, actually, let's see if someone in my alliance has Margaret. And I think I can show you. Uh, but he doesn't have Margaret on his active team. Okay, um, and I don't know anyone who has Atmos, because who freaking plays Atmos? Um, so there you go. Those are the changes, and sorry for those of you guys who have Vale and Teleria. Congratulations to those who have Guardian, Kong, and Margaret, and uh, Atmos. Um, for the rest of us, we keep chugging along. Uh well, I'll update you with more information as I know it. Um, have a good day. Please like, subscribe, and I'd love to see your comments below.